Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can trim down a large number of layers in Final Cut Pro. So essentially what we have here, if we just look down on our timeline, is these 25 layered clips. And we're basically going to look at how we can trim all these down to a single point on our timeline in one click. So essentially what we need to do is select all these clips. And we can do that either by clicking and dragging a marquee around all of these. You can see it's going to kind of jump down there a little bit. Or if we want to, we can also reduce the height of what we see in our timeline as well. So I'm going to hold down Shift, Command, and the minus button, and I'm just going to reduce the height of my clips. So if you scroll up, you can see now I can see kind of more of my clips. I can obviously increase the height of my timeline just by dragging this middle point here. We still can't quite see them all. So now I'm going to come across to my timeline options and we're just going to go to this single view of the timeline where you can see now I can actually get to the point where I can see that large number of layers in Final Cut Pro. So if I click here once, hold down shift and then click at the bottom, I'm going to select all those layers. I'm just going to hold down the command key to select those two layers that are outside of that area I want to select. So now I'm going to bring my playhead forward and I'm just going to use option and the right square bracket and that will trim down all those clips in one go. And if I just undo that, so Command Z, I'm gonna select all of these again. And if I come to the beginning, I can do the same thing. So Option and the left square bracket will trim them all down. Now, it trims a little bit differently because the clips are moving backwards, um, but if we just do it for these topmost layers, you'll kind of see what's happening. So I've just left the, the base layer untouched there, so option and a left square bracket, and you can see it will trim to that point in the timeline. Now that's really nice because it means we can move around our clips, so we can have we have them jagged at the end, but if we have them kind of offset at the beginning as well, we'll just offset a few, you can see even with something like this, where we have a kind of ragged set of clips, we can select all of them, hold down command, to select that last one, and then I can come to the beginning of my clips, option and the left square bracket that will trim them all to that same point come forward to the end option and the right square bracket and that will trim them all now if you're making something like a split screen i have uh, 25 different layers here then we can look at something like the brett fx splits plugin to do something like that so if we come across to our effects on the right hand side i'm just going to come down to the brett fx splits plugin and we're going to come down to this splits five by five, so 25 clips. So I'm gonna double click on this with all these selected. And what that will do, if we double click on it, is it's actually gonna apply that Brett FX splits plugin to all those layers. So it's just gonna take a moment or two to load because we're applying it to all of those clips. And so once that's done, we can come to each of these clips, just come up to the effects plugin on the right here, and we can just modify the position. Here, we can go through all of these and just select them each individually and get them all set up nicely. So you can see quite quickly by trimming those clips, we can create a really nice split screen really easily. So you can see now, even with this split screen created, we have a couple of these clips that are slightly offset. And all we need to do is come into the inspector with that clip selected. We'll scroll down to the bottom. I'm just gonna change this from fit to fill and that will make it conform to the resolution of the timeline that we're working in. So now you can see once that refreshes, that clip will drop into the right spot. So we'll come down and fix a couple of these other ones, set them to fill, any that are kind of offset, and by filling those, we'll then kind of get those to fit the resolution. And in fact, we could probably get all of them to fill and it wouldn't make too much difference to the, the edit. So if we select all of these and change them all to fill, then once that refreshes, the split screen will be set up beautifully. So that's a quick tutorial on how to set up a split screen. You can see I've got a few repeated clips in there that I've used just to kind of set this up, but it'd be the same if you had different clips for all of those. And then using the, the fill option to make sure that any clips that aren't quite the same size as your timeline will kind of follow the formatting of the splits plugin from BrettFX when you actually drop them into the right spot. Hopefully that's useful in terms of trimming the clips and then creating the split screen. If you have any questions, then leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.